Hi, everyone. We Hello. are just going to be talking. Hello, Zara. We're just going to be talking about stuff. That's the whole that's the whole show. Today we're talking about combat in RuneScape 3. And what we think about it. You know, can I just give like a uh can I give like a short rundown? Just a short little history for people who don't know about RuneScape 3 combat. Go it, for it. Maybe it will take like 5 minutes at most. Okay. And you guys, you can tell me if I'm wrong. You know, I might be wrong cuz I wasn't technically playing for every single moment of changes in combat. But I know the vast majority of it. So combat, as you guys all know, started wildly differently than uh, what it was back in freaking pre-EOC where it was just you freaking attack a guy and then they hit attack you and then you just sit there and watch and then eventually one of you die and if you're gonna die you eat like that's that's it that's the freaking combat um so i would say okay so combat started out extremely jank when eoc came out magic magic and ranged were like essentially the same style i'm not even gonna count the the part before um I should probably turn off my ratchet sound because it's actually very distracting. Um, I'm not even going to talk about the time before there was like death swiftness because that was just like ranged at no ultimate and it was just freaking garbage. But essentially for like 20, I would say 20, 20, no, yeah, tw no, 20, 2012 slash 2013. So 2013 to like 20... 17 I would say or 2018 probably 2018 so 2013 all the way to 2018 RS3 combat was literally the same it was every single person used magic because it was the best skill or the best combat style and I would say somewhere in like 2018 that's when melee you know what it is it's in, it's when the greater the greater uh <laughs> It's when the greater nice. melees came out. Then melee became good. And then Eldritch Crossbow came out. Then range became good. And then God Wars 3 came out. Then it was a, then magic was good again for like a couple years. And now necromancy is king. That was it. That's that's the summary of combat. Right? That's pretty accurate. Everyone everyone agrees. Uh, I'd say without going into the complete nitty-gritty of it, yeah. Look, I'm... Look, Cedric, I need to readjust. Readjust. Okay. Anyways. So, right now, we're in this weird freaking state of... Necromancy is still OP despite the combat changes. So, we want to talk about more changes that could occur. Alright. Uh, Brain or Bush, why don't you take over? So I don't... I stop dying here. Oh my god. Uh, so I'll start off, uh, yeah. since I came up with these one billion questions yeah, yeah. anyways. Okay, so what was uh, the first prompt? So, uh, what was your favorite combat style, either in some pattern or past iteration or currently? Yep. And then how would you change that style for the better? Okay. And what is I something like you absolutely do not want to see changed about it? I like it. Um, so I'll start. So I think yeah. probably my favorite was... Once the Zaros God Sword came out for melee, okay, and you yes, had all the greater I totally abilities agree. and melee was melee, a lot of fun. It really felt like kind of its own niche thing. Yeah. And Range where and magic. melee, where yeah. melee, like you could actively use it, was king by far. True, and then and then like half the bosses you just couldn't melee because you just straight because Jagex said frick <laughs> melee. What a great freaking design philosophy that was, Jagex. But uh, it, it felt nice because yeah. I think past that point, they started, like, rotations essentially became broken, almost, so to speak, where you started yeah. having to, uh -huh. like, you, you couldn't just berserk on cooldown. 
past that point. Like you kind of had to pull a bit of resources together, right? Because stuff started desyncing in a, in my opinion, a bad way. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 But uh, uh -huh. the biggest thing I would change is, for the love of God, if we're gonna make melee the bleed style, bleeds yeah. have to have some interaction with Berserk. True. <laughs> it, it is. Like, it is so weird that they haven't thought about that yet. I totally like agree. It, it doesn't even have to be the damage boost. It can be they last longer or yeah. or something. But the fact that we just say, hey, uh, cut out this whole like section of the combat you like to do. Yeah, don't just don't don't do it at all. Yeah, just like don't bleed uh, at all when your Zerk is up and it's just freaking. And it's not say like uh, like let me take Necromancy, for example, and you've got yeah. the whole uh, death phase that you go into. Yeah, like, if you were to use yeah. Volley of Souls, it's not the end of the world. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I even, like, like, build souls even in that, just because, like, frick it. But, yeah. But, like, it, in Melee, it's like, oh, you Zerked, and you you press Slaughter, uh, get fucked. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it, like, it, no, no, it, it just feels like <laughs> DPS loss when you press a bleed during Zerk, for, for real. Um. So, I, I would agree. say that's, like, the biggest change I want is that... It doesn't even have to be like the like I said the damage like amplification of Zerk. I just want to see some interaction yeah. that way. Yeah, like your skills mesh together better. I totally agree. Me Melee has uh, a huge freaking identity crisis still. Uh, the one thing I don't want to change also involves Zerk, and I want them to keep the more damage the that you take on it. Okay. I, I want them to do. You, keep you still the want whole... the double damage too, as, as well? It, it, I feel like that compensates for the fact that you do take increased damage. Uh, so yes, but all right, I, I like it because it it really makes it different than say sunshine and death yes, swiftness. I agree. And I forget what the name of necromancy is equivalent, well, but that I'm one's kind of living death. Living death, but yeah. that one kind of has its own set of rules that it works with. Yeah, living death is very weird. It like only but like, boosts. It like gives you a lot more adrenaline, and then just like only boosts the finger damage. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. I actually, I actually like that. It's pretty different because it it it, 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 ha, it 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 makes you like think a little bit more and like mm -hmm. how to use it. Like it, Berserk gives like the D and D gladiator berserker vibes, where it's just like right. fuck it, I'm going all going in. in. Yes, yes, and just other styles just don't. Like it's a feeling that none of the other styles have, and yep. it's probably one of my favorite parts of melee. I agree. All right, Bush, what's your favorite style? When I originally came back to the game, mm -hmm. crossbows were really fun to use. The wild crossbows felt really true, good, in my opinion. Okay. Magic became king for me, obviously, with yeah. the introduction to me for yep. uh, four ticking. Yep. As it added a layer of was an, yeah, like extra, skill extra. To uh, it. Yep, I agree. There, there was like a more to um, do to it, and people had to the like, constant figure four it out. ticking being removed was probably the best thing they've ever done to the game because right. it actually makes you think about your rotation. Right. Right. Fractured staff kind of ruined that. Yeah, it it went back because and be like, oh, you just, your entire your whole thing was the fracture staff. Just, you have yeah, to build around the fracture yep. staff, and that's it. Yeah, that that's I still... feel like that needs a really big change because there is no thought process in your rotation anymore. It's basically wait until this moment, dump everything, instead of like having any variety to it. Yeah, that's that's actually what I think is. Oh frick. That's actually what I think is 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 the case for basically all the styles, except for maybe melee, maybe melee. But melee is just it's in just a Melee's, weird spot right now where like it's sitting in its own corner at exactly. the moment. Melee, I feel like you have like, multiple like there's multiple like things big, that you do. You go through your damage, like, burst phase bleeds. with like berserk, and then you have your bleeds that you, you can, can do in the meantime. There's a lot of weird stuff that you can do with it. Yeah. So you're you're never like just there's never really like a downtime, but yeah, with with range necromancy and magic, it's just like it's just all in the alt, and then when you don't have alt, you do like freaking negative damage. It's just like what it's like. It's like <laughs> what am I doing here? Yeah, that is that is kind of a uh, a problem for sure. 
Necromancy definitely feels oh, like it also me. has like that uniqueness of. Oh my god. You don't need to like rely around your living death for a rotation. Uh. I mean. Yeah, somewhat. Do for like heavy burst, but outside of that, you can still like. I think the problem right now. No, no, no. Here, here's a, here's, here's the thing. Okay, there's, there's very few bosses right now that just don't immediately die to the necromancy first so it's yeah. like you don't really see the long cooldowns of it like take um have like a really big negative impact because even right here like yeah at raksha my freaking uh my living death off cooldown but like he's about to be phased anyway so it's just like it, it doesn't really matter there's not like a point where i'm just like freaking around for too long i guess Oh frick. Uh like I'm doing now. Okay. But yeah. I think necromancy I think they all have the issue minus melee of just like big DPS time and then little DPS time and then th and then that causes people to be like oh well that's why instead of doing all that we just have a freaking million switches so when your range goes on DPS cooldown time then you use magic and then your magic goes on cool DPS time when you go freaking melee and it's freaking <laughs> and then and then and then runescape starts becoming a freaking absolute mess i think once i think once jagex started to make switch scaping like like hybriding actually the most dps is when it got freaking way out of hand for like 99.9% .9 of the pe freaking people playing the game cuz you just a little you do not want like you don't want freaking like people who are a cheating you using macros um at b freaking like you just don't want like an insane amount of freaking APM to just be be the be the the best way to play the game. I think because I I think RuneScape and we'll maybe we'll touch up on this in another point. I think RuneScape has already way too many complexities that a lot of other games. Um. They, they don't have, but but for good reason. Like, I think a lot of other, like, MMOs or just other games in general that, that have this, like, third down kind of play, they don't have these complexities because, like, it just makes it freaking annoying. And I'll, I can get into more of them in detail, but, like, I, I, like, just, like, just in general, it's just, you know, it's just, one thing is just, like, you're, you're freaking prayer flicking. It's just, like, you have to just do it 24-7. And it's just, like... It's nice to do in RuneScape, but it's like most people when they see it, it's just like, why do I ha why why would I want to do that? It's just like so much freaking effort, and it's yeah. like it's just freaking mm -hmm. pain. And, and other games like they probably they probably think like, oh, should we implement something like like all this prayer management in, in our game? Like frick no, it's just like it's it's just too much freaking stuff for people to do when when we could when we could instead put the difficulty in other stuff, like you know very challenging freaking mechanics that make you scratch your head and think about what to do instead of just like oh i have to do all this and prayer flick it's like bruh and another thing they could technically do is change defensives to actually act on off global cooldown like other mmos so that you can keep up your damage while also being able to maintain your health that uh that's an that okay i understand where that comes from i think the the thing with healing in rs is like i act i actually think the the whole the whole thing where like the food in your inventory as like your resource is actually um i i think that's like one of the good things about rs because it's just like your your food supply is, is you know it's kind of just like your like like your mana bar it's like a freaking thing mm -hmm. that you have to just maintain and it's like a level of skill to do that like you using less food than other people is a skill um it's not it's not just like oh i can just pump out a lot of numbers if like if i just like if i'm horrible at freaking surviving then i it doesn't matter if i have no freaking food and I just 
um, <laughs> and just freaking die because I just have I have no HP. Um, it kind of like uh, oh my god, kind of like uh, it's like the difference between you know, like back in the day with like when we were doing raids. And like Ank just like did everything with one freaking food. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> what I the tell you? frick, man? <laughs> nice. I have two boots and a freaking shackle. Uh, bro. All right, I think uh, I think we can exhaust on to him. Yeah, another yeah. Let's topic. go on another something else that'll. Uh... Oh wait, no. Actually, I didn't. I didn't give my answer actually, but I'll do it fast. Oh, true. Okay, obviously my favorite style is magic. Uh, go figure, or the freaking wizard. Um, magic has gone through so many iterations. Like I don't, I can't even tell you like what is the best iteration. But um, how I would improve magic. Uh. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. As jank as as like the freaking staff is now and all that, I don't mind the staff. Although the the, the RNG is really bad, so honestly. I don't really have an answer right now. I don't know, John. For how? But you know, uh -huh. but you know, magic is your favorite. Yes, yes. Would you say that magic, in its current state, or was there an iteration at one point that you felt like it felt better? Mm. That is a good question, because I feel like magic before Fractured Staff was basically just like. How many? How it's just like spam four ticking as much as you possibly can, and that was <laughs> that was how you used magic. Um, which like you know, I did anyways, so it wasn't like a huge deal. Did I like doing that? Mm, I don't know. It's, it's all it's all kind of the same to me. Fair enough. So, they're 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 all they're all pretty similar in my page. Okay, you can you can uh, you can move on now. Alrighty, and then I'll have a uh -huh. I'll have Bush start off with his answer first for this one. That way okay. we just kind of rotate okay. around. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's a two part question. So what, in your opinion, was peak RS design for combat? And that can be like oh, God, bosses, okay. like rotations, gearing, just very very broad. And then what, in your opinion, is the worst part of RS combat design? For the first part, best combat design was having rotation for bosses. Well, the only one being Virago. Having an actual, like, you have a different week of, all right, ceilings. And, mm -hmm. like, all, all of those were, like, it kept it fresh. It kept the boss, like... You're not killing... I want to add on that. Yeah, the rotations were a really, really good idea. Yeah. And like, I, yeah, sure. imagine if they combine the enrage mechanic with something like that. I feel like that would make it even more complex to each like individual rotation and how you handle it. Okay. But then again, enrage was also a really annoying change because now it feels like every boss they add is going to have some iteration of enrage for the end game stuff because Pelos obviously had that Arc Glacer had it and now Zami Wait, wait, so wait, wait. Is is the enrage like the thing you hated the most or is or is that just like a some I... random tangent? I like it and hate it at the same okay. time. <laughs> okay. Because, like, you get rewarded for being on streaks, but then you have Telos where, like, there's no real point to doing that streak if you can do two four four nines. Right. Well, I mean, there is a reason to do it. It's, it's because, like, it, it allows people who can't do the extremely high in rage to still get, like, massive money from yeah. Telos. So I think it's not, like, a... 
it's not in itself a bad thing. It's just I think the way the Jagex handled it later on was pretty bad. Yeah. Then our glazers freaking drop rate for stuff just feels it, awful. It, it's it's because it of really it. bad. Yeah. The variance is just like disgustingly horrible. Yep. I will say the best thing they've done for that yeah. is the um, Dammy having a quote unquote bad luck mitigation. Yeah, that's Even really it nice. Seem like it exists, but we, yeah, you know that's no, that's another uh, that's, an, that's another question. Uh, that's a, that's <laughs> another uh, freaking discussion. Yeah. Yeah, enrage just. It feels like it has so much potential, but it's probably one of the worst, right. best things that they've added. Okay, so wait, wait. So, in, so you like ro so rotation is the best, and enrage is the worst. Yes. Like okay. Boss enough. has a, boss is having multiple rotations that change, and not just like a general combat rotation. Mm -hmm. Just I clear. like variance, like mm -hmm. having some sort of variance makes it fresh and not just monotonous grinding i completely agree with bush in that the rotations were probably the best thing that they or not not like the best thing but it's like a very good thing that they implemented um because not only everything that he said but because um virago back in the day had like the things that you probably were talking about in final fantasy where it, it had it had the omens outfit which was like a prestigious thing where if you finish the outfit it means like you did hard mode for every single rotation so it was like like yes obviously there were there were like half the rotations were so much easier than the other half so like noobs not noobs but like people who were not as good at virago could go on the easier rotation rigs to get kills but like people who were extremely good at the game, you could just get kills every single every single day because it doesn't matter what rotation is, you could just do it. So the rotations, like in Rage, allowed people who were not as experienced at the boss to get kills just because there were different levels of difficulties in the rotation. I don't know if Jack did it on purpose, but it just that's just how it, that's that's what ended up happening, and it was actually very good that there's like easier weeks and then harder weeks, and then mm -hmm. doing all the weeks was like a you know. Um, it was like it was like an achievement, and yeah. then hard mode was like you know, and hard mode Vraga was like even bigger achievement because it was like you had to do like all the freaking rotations in the same kill. It was freaking extremely, extremely uh well done. The enrage, I think I already said the enrage was like, I think I already said what I was gonna say was like I think it, enrage in itself is not a bad mechanic. It's just the fact that. Because it allows, again, like, noobs who are not as good as other people to still get these massive freaking, like, billion uh, billion GP Telos drops that, like, otherwise they couldn't get. But uh, the way that they kind of used Enrage, especially at Zami, was pathetically done. They used Enrage as just, like, a freaking crutch. And, like, they didn't really know what the frick they were doing. And they were just like, eh, we, we, we can make this boss disgustingly simple, but it doesn't matter because Enrage will just carry it. We'll just give it like just like next to no freaking mechanics that were actually complicated. Um, it it was it was really really poorly done with what Jagex did with Zamrak and making it an enraged boss. It didn't feel like it should have been an enraged boss. And they were so lazy with the two, like they 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 freaking just gave it like no new mechanics past one k. And same with Glacier, like it was super lazy. I'm freaking dying. Oh my god, I'm freaking dying. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyways, uh, sorry, Brain. So what would? So is that what your answers oh, are? Oh no, no, no. I was, have... I was just responding to Bush. <laughs> all right, all right. So what are, what are your? Okay, let's think. What's your peak, and then I'm what's dead. your worst? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> let's think. Peak, peak combat. Peak combat. Okay, this is gonna sound conf like contradictory to what I said before, but I think the peak combat decision that that RuneScape ever made was the introduction of curses. So all the way back when when they released curses and gave soul split, okay. because soul split allowed you to do 
to do something that like basically like other games it was like it was kind of unheard of but not not really but like i'm sure other games you had similar things to do but um just like in way different different manners but it basically allowed you to do stuff like oh no you know like no food 300 percent in rage racks or something like that and like and how how are they able to do it it's because of freaking soul split and it's because of like very 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 intense freaking concentration on timing and not getting f your prayer fricked mm -hmm. um it added it basically added another mini game on top of the uh on top of like you just using all your food um and i th i think it was a very unique like thing that runescape did that i'm not I, i'm like i'm not entirely sure like if if other games have done similar kind of things i have no freaking clue because i basically only played rs <laughs> but just imagine imagine it, it, it is like if you just look at it f uh, like take a step back and like look at basically what soul split does f does for your character it basically changes the game because yeah. like before you have to just always like conserve your food if your food is going down like you're fricked like you just have no food you have to just spam defensives um but after you get soul split it's a different game because you don't have to use your food to heal anymore like sure, your food does heal you a lot, but you can do other stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's so. That's I think the best thing the RuneScape done was add Soul Split, which again is very funny because like I'm sure if you ask like an old school player, it's like, oh, do you want Soul Split in your game? They'd be like, frick you, like no. But I think Soul Split is the best thing RS3 has done. Uh, what's the worst thing? Um. Uh, that's, uh, I mean, there's so many, <laughs> so many bad things Dax has done. <laughs> so really, it's like, it's like, what is the worst of the worst? What is the thing that really, in particular, gets under your skin? How about that? Uh, I, I'm not sure I can give like the best answer right now, but I'll just say, I mean, I guess this this counts uh the thing that really really freaking pisses me off the most was just the introduction of aod just because it was just such a freaking stupid brain dead boss that um had was so freaking simple even on release and just it literally power crept every single money maker in the entire game except for telos and and like the only way it, it like telos power crept it is if you freaking like were doing like two four four nines back in like 2017 which i think the number of people that could do two four four nine in 2017 was like under 10 so <laughs> i think aod like killed the game the most for me like it honestly made me freaking stop playing in like 2018 because of it it was just that okay. freaking awful Fair enough. Huh? Anyone have any? Uh, wow, that was a three-minute kill. <laughs> any anyone uh, have any things that want to add on to that? Or I pretty much explained it all to fruition. I think you got a pretty good, uh, pretty good gist for yeah. it. Heck yeah! All right, your turn, Brain. Your turn. Um, I would say peak for me was the like short period in time where okay every style had like tier 90s for both two hand and dual wield equivalents but right. pre the tier 92 era right oh interesting so so you're talking like are you talking about like r like right after raids and then in before telos basically pretty much yeah okay so that was like yeah that, that was basically like nine months okay that's interesting but um, All right. for me, it was just one of those things where I feel like you had the most skill expression in combat. Interesting. Um, like not everyone had to do exactly the same rotation to maximize DPS. Like there was variance you could do, and wait, your was situation. There? What, like I thought, I thought like I remember when when Ank and. Uh... Ank and Mash were like both DPSing at Rago. They were literally doing the exact same rotation. <laughs> okay. I think that's a little different because uh, 
you, like like when you're doing like P2 Rago, for example, okay. like all you're doing because it's not like a you kill it in the end kind of thing. Right. Like it's just you're doing like your job is just pumping as long as possible. It's more of a marathon in that case. Okay. But like when you think of like raids, for example, like yep. you had the person who had the North tank and it was very much an active yeah, job at that hard. time. Yep. Um, in defense raids is going to be a good example of any amount of variance whatsoever. Yeah, um, I agree. When it comes to stuff like you had the tanks swapping back and forth for BM, uh, you had don't stun the pets kind of thing. Yeah. Um, But it felt like, for me, it was like when someone, like when you were playing with someone uh -huh. really good, like you could really feel that like they, they were, they, really were good. They, knew they, what they were doing. They were putting everything into what they were doing. Yeah. And like, totally. if you wanted to be like, you know, a bit more relaxed with it, like it was completely fair kind of thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd say like once tier 92s okay. came out, it kind of that skill expression started to change just due to the drastic price increases that came with it and the bonus damage people started getting and that it, point i i agree it became that was like, like a tipping freaking, point it became say. freaking weirdly like like oh you you got to pay like freaking to bill for like this minor 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 increase exactly and that was very annoying very very annoying but uh so i'd say that was probably in my opinion where peak was uh, uh okay now i will say like this i don't i don't know if this like goes against your point or something but i i will say like when tier 95s came out they they were like actually massive game changers to your combat style and yeah like sure like you might not like the play style of of what what it was but I feel like that actually did justify paying billions for your freaking item because it was like a it was it made sense it wasn't just like a tiny stat yeah it wasn't increase. just like this, this stupid like minuscule stat increase that that like you know like Ank was out DPSing everyone with tier nineties with like the tier ninety two so it, like it didn't matter like at all yeah. Uh, expensive arrow bolts pages does suck. Uh, spending five mil an hour is expensive. Like so, so, so Zara saying upkeep costs is expensive. Okay, is annoying. Oh yeah, I I hate yeah. upkeep costs. There there are there there were definitely times where the upkeep costs were like just unfreaking reasonable. Like with when peak magic, when you used like twenty five k runes an hour, it was like freaking what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh. Yeah. yeah. I would say, in my opinion, the worst part about combat design yeah. is, and this is in particular for group bossing. Okay. okay. But dying is so many different levels of just horrible punishment. Yes, I like compared to compared to like any other game, in my opinion. Like, yes, I I totally agree. Dying in RuneScape is like is uniquely bad because of. They they want to retain the old like back in the day when you died it was like oh you lost like all your stuff and mm -hmm. they they just they like of course they could change it to just completely revert it to something else but they were like eh we we want to keep some element of it like some element of like oh like you're being punished if you died it's not like yeah. it's not like oh your your time waste is is enough no no we gotta take even more of your freaking like. <laughs> feel feel we got we got to set you back even more and that yeah. and that is totally like not cool for some people like i i know some people that literally don't freaking pvm literally just because they don't want to die and like i don't yeah. blame them like that's just how it is like i think when bush and i were progging raksha and like learning how to do yeah. back when you had to do laceration scythe bladed yeah. diving all and the you, pools like, just kept freaking dying it was like like it was like a solid like 50 times to practice that yeah. and that's just 50 deaths oh yeah and it's like freaking pain because yep like it, like when you fucked that up 
back in the day, like there was no there was no saving the kill. Like oh yeah yeah, Raksha, Raksha was up to like yeah. fifty plus is super, in rage, is super like immediately not, like, like... up that stuff for for sure. As I am or literally like, experiencing right now, as I freaking do the jankest kills. <laughs> or like another example would be like let's say like Rago for example, you you die on P three because you know you're. Yeah. You're learning ceilings for the first time. A lot of Rago deaths is literally just like a wipe. Like that, that, that that's it. Like you, yeah. like one of you die, you're freaking dead. Like you, you just, you just leave. Yeah, like three men back in the day. It was basically like, all right, it's over. Okay, there I mean, yeah, no uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, but technically, three men is like, okay, you chose to do like this much yeah. harder version. So I kind of like see that's more fair. But even like in a five man, a lot of times it's like one person died. Like you just didn't have the DPS to keep going. You just had to freaking let everyone leave. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I'll uh, I'll skip around a few questions yeah. here, uh, just because it kind it? of uh, okay. Yeah, keep on. Just because it kind of came up, uh, yeah. so I think this would be a good segue question. Go for but it. But what aspects of combat from other games or MMOs do you think RuneScape combat would benefit from? Okay. Uh, who, who do you want to go first? Uh, you, well, you go first this time. Okay. I'll rotate it around in a circle. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, this might be very obvious, like, and this th th this could be like, like a freaking almost like a like a, like not even worthy of a discussion. But I I think like, I I don't know why the frick RS like. I mean, maybe I could think of maybe slightly reason why, but like I, I don't. I think they should for sure have um, in-game macros, and okay. it's just like in-game macros just solve so many freaking issues that like shouldn't really be an issue. Like, why the frick do I need to press two buttons to quit my wand and orb? It's like it's just it's just it's just unnecessarily like freaking stupid that that yeah I have to do that, mm -hmm. and like. It, it it really shouldn't be like that because Jagex, you know, they have it, they have programmed stuff like the Dragon Claw, so they equip both when you clip when you equip on it. But like everything else, they just haven't done it. So it just feels like they're just freaking lazy, like they and they're just not doing it. Uh -huh. There's technically there is technically an argument to be made that in-game macros, if they were made legal, it would completely it would completely destroy the use of hybrid armor. Because why would you need hybrid armor if you could just press one button and your entire arm, like power armor set changed to like a different power armor set? So it just has <laughs> no freaking use. But it still technically does have a use because power armor, uh, sorry, hybrid armor, like the Sliskate one has has set effects. So the set effects are could be what you use it for. Um, also, you have way more inventory space if you don't have a freaking like a seven-way switch to a different style in your inventory. And obviously, food mm -hmm. in RuneScape three or in RuneScape is a is a is a freaking one of your resource is one of your resources in playing the game. So that's just more resource, a more food resource. So I still think there's no reason why why there shouldn't be in-game macros, and I don't know why Jagex like doesn't freaking do anything about it. Um, did, was there any other part to that question? Uh, no, nah, just a okay. general. And it can be like more than one thing if you could okay. think of it. I, I so, might have another guess, one, but you can, you can go. I, I, don't, I, I was going to say, let me one. follow up on that real quick yeah. Um, for the in-game macro stuff. Yes. So how far would you want an in-game macro to go, I, I guess, want is the in -game better question. I want an in-game macro to... Okay, it, what it can do is it should press everything that you... Like every single button that could be pressed... Like, in one tick, it should do that. What it shouldn't do is, like... Is, like, uh... It shouldn't, like, do a sequencing thing for you. Like, it shouldn't It shouldn't do, like, uh... Like, back in the day, there was, like... People were using macros to blade a dive switch. And, like, you know... Get, uh, you know, like, Telos to, like, get to the point... You know, really mm -hmm. quickly. And, obviously, thank God they changed... They added dive just to, like, remove that. Um, it it it's sh your your macro shouldn't like be able to do in order in like sequence. Put your melee weapon on, dive to the spot, take your melee weapon off, and then like put your magic weapon on, like like that. Like it shouldn't do that. But what it should uh -huh. be able to do is like if I want to 
press a button that switches eight of my armor pieces on at one single time, it should be able to do that. Okay. And like, if that sounds broken to you, it's not. It's not because it's actually broken. It's because Jagex just didn't make a freaking solution to it. Like, <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, that's. I I don't like that idea. That is just fair. switch all your armor pieces. But I think that's more of a. But, it, but it's like Jagex. It's like Jagex you have yes. hybrid armor, like. And make like you're it saying, worth using, and if like, and if they wanted it not to happen, then just add freaking those things like you were saying, like just add like a charge thing on, like a nine second charge thing to all of them, and like yeah, that would solve it. Like that would literally just immediately solve it. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. Fair enough. Uh, okay, I'll go next. Um, all right, all right. One thing that RS. Yes. Might actually be the worst game in. Yes. I, I'm sure they are worse than a lot. Okay, okay. Getting random people together to do content. Oh, yeah. There's no freaking look duty at, finder. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. look at WoW, you look at Final Fantasy, there's a party finding system. Uh, freaking. Uh, freaking Eve back in the day used to have a freaking. It's so party sad finder, because right? like they obviously tried with the grouping system, but then they just never updated it. Yeah, but the grouping system manages to actually be the worst possible iteration of <laughs> it, that it could be oh like, my I god like i i should be able to open grouping see like a list of like hey yeah. we're looking to do five man rago yep uh and I, hey i want to join that cool i yep join that group yep like it, it it shouldn't be just the absolute mess that the current grouping system is where it right. just it's, randomly it's chucks yeah. you into <laughs> It just something. chucks you into a party and then there's like, uh, so most of them don't even want to do combat with you. And then mm. because like, because, because for some reason they forced you to use the grouping system for like half the bosses. So half the people that are using it just don't even want to PVM with randoms. They just accidentally freaking got queued in with someone else. Yep. <laughs> it's just like, bruh. <laughs> And then people that do, there's no like roll thingy, so you can't even. So it's like, oh, like who's gonna tank? Like it's freaking. You just have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's freaking awful. But uh, in for for a game that is marketed as an MMO, it's very yes solo combat based, which yes. is incredibly yes, it stupid. Is. It is. It is. <laughs> and I feel like the e I will say uh -huh. the, the biggest problem is that. The grouping is done like entirely through like, oh hey, like we're in this clan together. Let's do content together. Yeah, you, you, you have to Just try people... so hard to do group content, like yeah, so freaking hard. And they and and they may they they have not made it easy to freaking like group people with because like if you just try to go with them random i was thinking about doing a youtube series where i wanted to to try to pvm with random people and just and just see how good they were or, or if they would try to teach me how to pvm i'd pretend to be a noob um mm -hmm. and i literally couldn't because the grouping system was so bad that i couldn't even find anyone to pvm with <laughs> and i'm sure sure like there's there's not many people PVMing or using that at all, so I understand why. But it's just it's just freaking sad, man. All right, that, that's all. But that that for me is my uh. All right, grouping system. I like it, or like the party finder. I, I or modern modern PVM. like making a real grouping system for group PVM. Yeah, I agree. All right, Bush. What about you? Mine kind of goes hand in hand with brains. Because yeah. I want more content to actually have roles to them. So like raids, you had poison tank, you had main tank, you had north tank, you had all of this, these different roles. You had a role in the group. You felt like you were actually doing something other than hitting a just DPS. Just AFK up. DPSing, oh yeah. Yep. So just having... Some sort of role system of like, I want to be the tank of this boss. The tank has to do X amount of mechanics while the DPSs have to do this other mechanic. I'm pretty the same sure time. there has not been like, a single boss in the entire game since raids 
Raids that, and Virago. That where you actually have like roles. That too. that that the the two roles in every single fight was the guy that holds aggro and then and then everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> that, that every Pretty single much. fight that that has been the hey, roles. Hey. Rago was technically different. You had the guy who holds aggro, and then you also got, had the guy that stood really far away. Exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. You, actually, you actually had something to do. Yeah. Like, main tanking Virago back in the day hurt. Mm -hmm. Like, it still even kind of hurts today if you don't use Crypt Blue. Like, it's not yeah, it obviously hurts. as bad as using freaking Void back in the day, but, like, it still can chunk you really fast if you yep. make a mistake. But like, just having something of more mechanical bosses where there's actual role-based things instead of just haha DPS dummy. Yep, mm -hmm. totally. And who like, do I we have more to thank? mechanical bosses. Who do we have to thank for that? Mod Ramen. Ramen. What a freaking guy. You know, what? sorry. I, I I don't I don't mean any personal attack to Mod Ramen. I just think his bosses are freaking hot doo doo cheeks. Like the weird part is he he actually had like the idea, or not really the idea, but like he had one mechanic in AOD that was like technically okay. a DPS mechanic where you had to take aggro of the minion, or else it would go on someone else. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of like, like the, the he minion had thingy something was, was going like kind there for of a mechanic. second, but then it just that became, that, that okay, is ironically you just grab sorry, it, unironically the, through. It is literally the <laughs> the only mechanic you have to do in AOD. Everything <laughs> else you like, just, like you just you DPS. Just, the, you have you actually had like some sort of role thing to it. As much as I yes. hate the boss, you kind of had a role. That was the only you thing you have to do is minion, the minion tank, and then you had the chinner. That just yeah. decimated them. Yep, you and know? they they deleted the chinner. No more chinner. Exactly. It's just like you actually had some sort of role in that <laughs> fight, unironically. <laughs> yeah. And then the main tank, I'm pretty sure, took melee and mage attack, so they actually had a lot yep, of like yep. It was freaking pain to do. Mm -hmm. Like yep, we had to prayer swap or freaking just survive it. Yeah. Just munch through it. <laughs> yep. Which back in the day, that's what people did. They brought pac mammoths and they just munched. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> true, true. Very true. All but that's right. mine. And then um, I'll do one last uh -huh. question so we can... Uh... Yeah. It put us at a good solid hour for the podcast. Wait, wait, Talk wait, show, wait, whatever wait, wait, the hell we want to call this. Okay, wait, wait. So we, we talked about we talked about what we like about it. We talked about what we don't like about combat. We talked about what we want from a different game to, on it. Okay, have we talked about have we talked about exactly what the best like update to R three should be, or is that is that kind of similar to a uh, previous question? Um. I didn't really go into the future stuff. Okay. Other than All like right. the That's fine. Uh, the very first question with like the style, what would you potentially want to change kind right, of thing? Right. Okay. All right. What was your final question? All right. What is your actually horrible? Like you know, everyone would hate you for this take what? on combat. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I need to think about this. So why don't you guys go first? Oh. Rain, I know, I know you have something so spicy. So Bush, you go first. Oh I, Brain, you want to save yours for last? I understand. I understand. Oh my god. This one will hit literally ninety nine percent of the community. Okay, guaranteed. so ninety nine percent of the people will disagree with you. Perfect. Okay, what is it? Yep. Make revolution only work in Slayer. You cannot no longer <laughs> use revolution in bossing <laughs> instances. Yeah, uh, yeah, everyone would, I totally agree, everyone would not, everyone not play would the game. Everyone would hate me for that. <laughs> yep. Make it so you actually have to play the game. Okay, what are, what are the, uh, okay, so your only argument is you have to play the game, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it actually teaches you rotational value. 
instead of okay i will say this okay i will say this i will say this most high level p of emmers that do use revolution they still technically do a rotation they just like it's not yes. um you know they, they they still technically have to kind of learn a rotation but like just it just feels so bad whenever you try to take someone that hasn't done much content in the game right into something and their immediate thing is what revolution bar should i set up for this instead of <laughs> like i i have not i have not interacted with that yet but i totally agree that sounds really freaking jank like um like the first question about a boss shouldn't be what revolution bar do i take so that i can do the minimum amount of effort like that should not be the first thing of doing any boss. Okay, uh I agree. I agree somewhat. I agree somewhat. Cause I agree that revolution is kinda like a band-aid to because if you rely way too much revolution, you're going to have so much harder time with, like, content in the future where, like, you have to really, really press, like, a lot of abilities, like, at certain times. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're super reliant on revolution, you're going to have a really bad time learning, uh, like, content that is more focused on timing and stuff like that. But RS has so many like it's it's such a freaking complicated game to to really like get all the way like okay it has it has such a freaking like stupidly high skill ceiling that like i kind of understand why revolution kind of needs to exist so like you don't have to Okay, here's here here's here's what I'm trying to say. You're playing Guitar Hero, okay? And if you if you go into like if you go into like Raksha, like me right now, okay? I'm gonna fight Raksha, I have zero KC. Fighting Raksha is like is like playing one of those songs. It's not through the fire and flames, but it's like the one like four four above through the fire and flames, okay? And if you had no revolution You'd be, have to just go in on expert difficulty, and you have no idea how to play Guitar Hero. Like, and that's how you have to you have to do the whole thing without without failing, and then that's how you get a, well, your first kill of Raksha. But Revolution <laughs> at least brings it down from expert difficulty to like medium, <laughs> so like you don't have to focus on like so much freaking jank. That, um, yeah. so I think it's it's maybe a necessary evil at this point. <laughs> like, I wouldn't say it's a necessary. I think if revolution didn't exist, oh people my god, should really practice like just doing full manual to begin with, just to have some sort of idea of just some rotational awareness. But uh, I don't know. But no, no, no. I, I see what you're saying. I, I totally see where you're coming from. Like you can keep revolution for the things that are not like current content so like god wars dungeon one okay somewhat god wars dungeon two i guess like stuff like that you can keep it like that but like for end game content it just feels like bad that if you want to bring someone to zami or something and they're just like what revolution they're, do they're i use revel warriors like yeah like what what what's the rotation for revolution that I use? Like, well, frick. Um <laughs> you don't. <laughs> like you have to actually yeah, it... have awareness on your rotation. All right, all right. All right. I think we have we have a pretty good idea. On Bush's take that everyone will not like. Okay, well, uh I guess my <laughs> turn then. Wait, just to say that I agree with training up from manual. Uh, I just came back. Revolution was quite fun. I'm dying. I'm, I'm dying. Hold up. I'm dying. <laughs> uh, 
Slight uh, for some quality of life improvements, but any serious PM is going to show how much it can, more it can hurt you. Yes. So you agree with what I was saying? That. Yeah. Uh, if you rely too heavily on revolution, it will bite you in the cheeks later. DPS checks are going to be absolutely Why? horrible. Why? Like P7 check for freaking Why? Zami. Uh huh. Okay. Like that's going to be horrible. Uh huh. Okay. Do you, talk, do you want to talk about it? Aaron? No, no. He, he got, he like <laughs> visually got out of sync. The melee hit hit me like before his bite came down. So something went out of sync and then his freaking tail swiped my cheeks off. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. What's my thing everyone will hate? Let me think about this. I mean, okay. I mean, I have one that like, I guess people will overall hate. But I know obviously like a lot of people will not hate it. So I'm just gonna say the thing that I think needs to 100% happen that like people will probably freaking push back on is they need to make PvP great again. Like I don't know why they okay. haven't made PvP great again. They, they've literally all they've been doing like for the past freaking freaking decade essentially is remove pvp content or just give no fricks about it and pvp content is so important for the health of this game because it's literally a freaking it's literally the reason why like so many people play like games like it's mm -hmm. pvp so the fact that you just don't have a pvp scene at all detracts like a humongous freaking um a humongous not only like like current players that love pvp but also like any players that that would like to be you know potentially interested in seeing what rsd pvp is because a lot of people just love playing pvp games there's a lot of pvp games and they okay. they drive so many things with the economy too it's like because there's a lot of people that like oh why, why would i want to buy like a fractured staff well, literally, the only reason to buy a Fracture Staff right now is just to kill stuff to, like, get another Fracture Staff. Like, it's to do more <laughs> PVM. But if there was a PvP scene, there would be a buttload of people that would just play the game to freaking, like, that would fund the PVM scene, right? Like, it's like it's just so many freaking benefits. And I don't know why people just hate... I don't... I literally don't know why. Like, I, I kid you not. Like, why the frick do so many people not like the idea of PvP? Like, it just blows my mind. It's like they have freaking PTSD or something. They're like, oh, PvP should just stay dead. Like, why? Like, why? why, why? Like, it doesn't hurt you. Like, what's wrong with PvP? Like, just don't engage with it. They deleted the wilderness. Bro, wait, what, what's happening? Just don't engage with it. Like, like, why does PvP have to be dead? Like, I don't understand. All right, that's, that's my take. That shouldn't really be a take, but it is because it's freaking... So many people in ours, I just don't understand. Like, why? Yeah, I hate to, to say it, but even on old school, PvP like, doesn't like, get it's like many dying. updates. Like, yeah, the biggest issue with old school right now for PvP is the freaking yeah AHK scripts. Like, oh, like like, like so people cheating. press like literal, people literal literally literally press like three buttons <laughs> like simultaneously. Yeah, like that's one a that, that's a humongous uh, problem, and, just, and that's like another thing. It triple eats for you immediately. It switches your prayers. Like it literally does everything for you. Yeah, that that's yeah, that's just like a complete another problem with like macroing in general. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is again like the part of the thing that I was saying that shouldn't happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just I'm glad you are able to get back into Zuck. Let's go. All right, Brain. I'm done with the hour. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna intently listen to yours. Let's let's do this. All right. So Maya. Uh -huh. Truly Monka RS take. All right, let's hear it. Is that too many bosses nowadays are okay. too easy to achieve at 100% hit chance. Okay. Oh, and I know where this is need, going. <laughs> okay. We need more content where you missing is just a factor of it. That that nice wild magic in the sun you pumped. Oh, well, it was only 75% accurate. You missed both hits. That's just life. Okay. Firstly, um, do, do you know what happened in the recent combat update? Yes. Okay. I, I, I'm right. getting. Okay. Okay. Because okay, okay. I was gonna say that doesn't make any sense now. But okay. I keep going. Keep going. But since they kind of changed how it is. Yep. Yep. What I want them to do 
yep. is similar to how enemies work. Where, okay. let's say, like you've got seventy, like let's say you've got twenty five percent reduced damage. Your accuracy is only seventy five percent. Yep. You rolled a theoretical miss. You do half damage on that ability. Okay, but but do you still also do seventy five percent damage as well? Or hmm? Do you still no, also? No, so you're doing like you're already at the seventy five percent damage. And you miss, and you do and even you roll, less damage if you. And roll you do the even less. Yes. <laughs> What the so frick? like okay. like similar to like bombs and Virago. okay so so you're like you're they trying always to... did damage but if they rolled a miss they did so half you're the so you're trying to double dip on the lower accuracy interesting yes I mean that's that's a that's a that would and... make you prioritize accuracy so much more which is interesting like I mean, it's not bad it's just an interesting it's a but different in take, turn okay. to okay. compensate for you know these accuracy changes we yeah. update ports so that the accuracy scrimshaws are better bro that way. <laughs> That way, you have a use right, for accuracy. <laughs> when it all you comes back to damage. Throw, throw the idea out the window. We don't need accuracy. Bro, liter literally, not, I think even more people would hate this than Bush's change somehow. <laughs> throw, that out, throw that out of the Making window. Making ports, ports great again. Oh, God. You can thank, remove ports from the game. Thank, thank God you. Maria's not here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Ports Keck W. Okay. Interesting. No, no, I, I but no, no, no. as a whole, uh, accuracy should be a much more uh, important yeah. stat than it is. Yes, you're currently. totally right. It, it's too catered to compared mm -hmm. to like when you used to do Virago back in the day, it's like, well, I'm rolling up with 60% accuracy, but there's five of us, so hopefully enough of us will actually hit. Yeah. And and like now that they changed accuracy, I don't understand why. Well, sorry. I, I say I don't understand why, but, like, they did the change, like, last month. So, obviously, they, did, they didn't update any of the recent stuff. So, I'm hoping in the future they actually make a boss have, like, Rago-level defense again, or even higher, like, God forbid. Mm -hmm. But because it doesn't it, it, it doesn't matter now because the, the, the changes are right through. So, yeah. it actually gives use to a lot of the stupid stuff in the game that lowers defense. Like, all the random spec weapons, or, like, Blackstone arrows, or, like, freaking the stupid invoked death codex that's worth, like, 2k from, from <laughs> Forkath. Like, it gives meaning to all that. And the ac and you're right, like, the accuracy, accuracy scrimshaws in, in, uh, in ports. I don't... Is there even another freaking thing that gives accuracy in Pogasol? I don't think there is. I don't think there um, is, no. Yeah, so... I, I totally think the game would be a lot better if the next bosses were... They actually you have accuracy issues. I totally agree. Uh, but yeah, I think... Uh -huh. I think the problem is, since we double dip in the positive, it's not fair to not also double dip in the negative. Wait, now that... Wait, wait, now that we're aligned. Positive. So similar to how, like... Like, if you're... Like, when you're tanking, the boss... Like, it's not yep. like the boss... Like, like a Yakka... Like, if you rolled a miss, it's not like it's just like, oh, lol. I rolled a miss, but I'm still just smacking you. I right. think it, 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 you, you get the benefit. It does half damage. It's not. Um, oh, oh, oh. You mean if he hits you and it's a miss? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. Similar to, you know. You know, it's interesting because Jagex really, for good reason, I think, hasn't done much power creep in the defense it, like defensive power creep the only defensive power creep is really really like egregious is crit bloom and they like kind of to toned it back a bit um probably for a good reason um so yeah that's probably fine because like it's, it's weird because like other i'm sure in other games like in final fantasy like how bad is the defensive power creep like is it really bad um, like, it's not really, they're not really comparable because it's not designed oh, the, in the same the level way. Sync. Yeah, level sync probably makes it. Like, yeah. Okay. Le level sync is a thing. And it's not like you ever like, imagine like if you went to Rago yeah. and like, oh yeah, well, I have this tier 95 gear, but it sinks me down to tier 90 gear. Yeah. Like that's just not a thing. Yeah. Um, so it's not really comparable and yeah. Uh, upgrades work a lot differently in that game. Like you don't really like, use let me old tell you, yeah. gear like for specs or stuff. Like it, it just yeah. everything is just literally stat points. Like I'm pretty sure in a game into. like Maple Story, the defensive power creep is like stupid. Cause like 
you could be fighting a boss at like level 50 and then you hit level 70 and you go back to the boss the boss is literally hitting like zeros on you like it, it just <laughs> it just doesn't harm you at all which i think is is good in rs where like that shouldn't be a thing because like you don't want to go back to virago and just, you just it does so little damage you just afk virago or something stupid like that it's like yeah uh so i think that's a good thing okay well um is there any any last things we want to mention let me or let me... cringe oh i stand God. by my accuracy take <laughs> no the actually take is a very good take i totally like that it's a fine take but the ports part of it really uh <laughs> threw it away for me well, the problem, the problem is they are connected because Ports has the only accuracy <laughs> the only accuracy buff items. Let me think. Uh... Oh, yeah. One last thing I wanted to add. So, I think you were you guys were saying, you were, you were like kind of dancing around the, the fact that RS is not good. Like, a part of RS that's not good is the fact that it's like incredibly solo focused, um, and I I agree that there does need to be group content in this game, but I also I also kind of kind of like uh, at least to a degree I like how much you can solo in this game, um, and let me explain why. It's because a lot of sometimes I just want to play with myself, and That's fair. and sometimes I want to play with myself a lot. No, 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 don't don't take this weirdly. That's it's, pretty sus. No, 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 no. Look, <laughs> I do not want the the company of other people. I just want to play with myself, and. And I think a lot of people, I think, I think one of the reasons actually why RS3, despite getting absolutely freaking doo-dooed on by Jagex for the past like three years, okay? The fact that RS3 still has a player base is because you could play so much by yourself <laughs> like which is sad i know it's not like <laughs> it's not like it's not like all a good thing at all um yeah I, i'm not i'm not like countering your point anyway i totally agree with you that like there needs to be more group content i just i also like the fact there's a lot of solo content in rs i think that's fair i think like mm -hmm. a, like a, a, a mmo you're able to progress like a very 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 far so doing solo is nice and then you can still just like hang with people i i would almost prefer that to like i have to be like be carried through like stuff in other you know games because i just can't do it solo mm -hmm. okay. yep all right any any last words for jagex if they're listening what about rs3 combat <laughs> Um, we get more questions we can save for another time. All right. Sounds or we can, good. uh, we can, we, we can, we can always prompt in a them later up and episode. shit on them even more. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sure all of us, we have, we, we could talk about the bad things Jags have done for like another four hours. Make ports great again. Remove ports from the game. Torture. <laughs> What <laughs> torture? No, 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 no. What? Just you got it wrong. You got it around. It's not torture. It's torture. Oh, that was the oh god, <laughs> the freaking dad pun, dad bod pun, dad bod strikes again. If you guys don't know, his ult in Final Fantasy is named Dad Bod, so that's why I called him that. Okay. Oh, that's all I got. Oh, well, thank you for hosting. Yes. Um, you know, is there enough people here to do a vote? Are we gonna do a vote? I think there might be enough people here to do a vote. Okay, everyone here, you guys can vote. Who was the worst in today's discussion? Who 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 performed the worst? Type get put your votes in chat, and they they have to host the next episode. Are we saying perform the worst or had the worst? Oh, sorry, I had the worst take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, 
Who had the worst take? Let's do a poll, actually. That, that'll probably be the easy way to do it. Poll. It, it truly really is a shame that uh, Len and Maria aren't here, to. If they were here, you would 100% be <laughs> voted down the worst. Okay. Who had the worst Rs3 combat take? Okay, and looks like the worst take of the day. Congrats to Brain <laughs> with the ports take. Okay, see, they didn't even need to be here. The one that didn't even start out with ports, but it sure, <laughs> sure, it's, it's sure all, it just ends with ports. Thanks everyone for watching. We will be back next. We will be back next time.